Um, Aaron, I want to kind of move kind of into the future now and yeah. kind of look to kind of see where some of your goals are and where you want your business to, to end up. What's something that you're looking to accomplish in the next 12 months? Yeah. So i I'm personally, um, working on some investments now, um, buying some rental properties, working with a, a couple of other folks that were trying to really grow our investment portfolio. And then, you know, stepping away from the management has given me a little bit more time to focus really on my residential sales. So really going back to what was successful for me before, I always tell people that when I'm coaching. So I'm taking my own advice and, you know, doing the things that work and doing them in, uh, you know, higher capacity so that yeah. I start building even more business again. Yeah, no, that's awesome. What's a five-year goal for you? Five year goal. That's a, that's a big one. So, <laughs> you know, building bigger. So I personally want to be like where I need a team. Um, so hopefully I, my goal, I'm, I'm working on getting to like, I like to get settle into like 40 to 50 transactions a year for myself. Yeah. That's where I know that I'll be comfortable and still be able to enjoy because I haven't yet missed, you know, a game or a performance or anything and I'd like to really keep that going. So yeah. 40 to 50 a year is really great for me and then be able to refer out to my team. So I, I help, I I'm in four MLS systems because of where I live. It's crazy. Um, but Hopefully to, one day they all combined, right? <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be just beautiful if we could look everything up in one spot, but yeah. um, I'll probably have like a Cincinnati direction team, like a South team, mm -hmm. a West team and a North team in the next five years to really at least have one assistant or a teammate in each of the spots so that like when I can't handle yeah. it, they're there, you know, and then yeah. on the investment side, it's just going to be keep building that so that we have, you know, I'm hoping to have 20 to 30 units myself by the five year mark. So that's, a, that's awesome. Um, we're my wife and I are getting into that um side of things right now as well yeah. we're we're building a, a new build to basically just spec out and and that's cool compete and compete with the builder when it's done essentially yeah. um and we're building an airbnb down in texas you know um so you're going looking, far away to start yeah you know um it's interesting because one of the agents on our team she had airbnbs and you know when i talk about it to, you know agents and doing what you enjoy doing you know, whether it's your personality or just in your personal life, she was already doing Airbnbs and we sat down and, and, you know, she started putting together uh, classes, weekend classes to teach other people that wanted to learn how to invest with Airbnbs. Oh, that's really cool. And through that, she um, has been, you know, looking at different places across the country and, and all of those things. And, you know, at one point she had like 13 or 14 referrals out, you know, from, you know, people here in Columbus going out of state to buy these Airbnbs. And, um, there's this, this, uh, town on the Gulf coast called crystal beach outside of Houston, kind of okay. right by uh, Galveston. Well, anyways, um, my team lead bought one down there. Um, I flew down there with them to, to help them get it set up. And, and now they're building a short-term rental community basically. And there's maybe six or seven from our team that bought in this community that are building in this community. So we're just like taking the Columbus house team from Columbus and we're all going to go on vacation together. Like one, like one week out of the year to this Airbnb spot. And yeah. So, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, if you trust your, your, your advisors, right. Like if, if the client really trusts us, you know, um, then all should be good. Right? Yeah. So, but no, I'm right there with you on the investment side. It's it's one of those things where um, real estate's a beautiful thing, you know, when you do it right. So, yeah, that's exciting. what do you what do you think you need to um, put in place in order to kind of help you set up your you know north, south, east, west kind of kind of team pods or or agents? Yeah. So basically, I I do an evaluation every year. Um, back to my nerdy self, I set up a business plan and. When I put it in motion, you know, it's been only, I mean, I still taught a management class today. So it's been really like two weeks since I've moved out of that room. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, 
I've already like really started hitting like letters again. I personal mail is like so undervalued, you know, crazy undervalued. And uh, so far, I think every letter I've sent out has gotten me a direct message. And you know that that makes your algorithm make them see everything I do a whole lot more often. Um, yeah. So doing that again and going back to where I started with a few, um, you know, phone dialer systems and internet leads again, and really starting to build my business out the same way I started the first time because it worked. Yeah. And yeah, that'll get me there. Um, there's a there's a guy by the name of um, Ryan Stuman who I follow. He's out of uh, Dallas, Texas, and he. He, he's not a real estate agent. He used to be a, a loan officer. His story's wild. Um, but back in the day, he used to help loan officers and real estate agents build their business through social media. And this was, this would have been like, you know, 07, 08, 09, when like social media wasn't what it is today. Yeah. Right? Um, but, you know, he, he talks about this and, and it makes sense when you, when you actually think about it to your point of mailers and notes and, you know, letters and those types of things. I mean, think about it, right? Like how many emails do we get every single day that we never even open? Does email marketing work? Sure. But what, what are those open percentage rates these days? Probably pretty low. Then you think about phone calls, right? Do phone calls work? Yes. But how many times do you answer a phone, uh, a phone call where you don't know the person coming through? As agents, we probably answer higher than the normal person, yeah. but, but, you know, there's times like if I don't know a name and, or a name doesn't pop up, you know, I just like go to voicemail and then I determine if I want to call them back or not. Right. Yeah. And now text messages right now, everyone's doing text mess message marketing, but guess yeah. where, guess where the marketing has fallen off, which is the mailbox. Yeah. Look, so you guys... Even from like Domino's, you're like, Oh, I can get a deal tonight. Cause they're texting me about it. Like. Yeah. You know, so like the mailbox, like you said, like, you know, people are sleeping on that, you know, going back to some of the old school basic ways of, of staying in front. Now I think you have to do all, all of the above, but yeah. highest open rate, those types of things, you know, if someone gets a, no one, you know, we only get birthday cards and holiday cards, right? That's pretty much all we get. You put something in a card format, guarantee that they're opening it. Yep. They you are. Know, they're not, they're they're not throwing they it are. away. <laughs> like, I got a card for you. I'm so excited. I'm like, <laughs> I'm yeah. so glad this makes you so happy. And honestly, just being genuine about it too, though. Like, yeah. I'm not sending anything about my business right now. I'm just building relationships with people that I already know that we've only ever connected on a social form. Um, you know, those people that I see standing out, I'm just going to let them know that I see yeah. them. And I think that's great what they're doing. So I don't want to just be your Facebook friend. Like when I see you at the coffee shop, especially like I said, I'm a small town. So I do see everyone. I want you to feel comfortable to say hi to me. Like let's yeah. really actually connect, not just see yeah. like each other's posts, you know? No, I love it. I mean, you're spot on. You're spot on. Um, Aaron, I, I, I've been adding this question in um, lately. Um, what's a legacy goal for you? What's, what's a goal that you want to leave behind after you're no longer here? Yeah, that's a good, really good question. Uh, especially think about this um, a lot more frequently as you get older and like actually start dealing with that in real life. Um, but I just want people to remember those relationships really that I built and my kids to know that can, that no matter who we are, cause like, I'm sure you've worked with lots of people that are nothing like you. Yeah. Just knowing that there's always a way to connect with everybody out there. I always tell my kids, like, you know, just be kind and find the things that you like about other people. You know, I have a couple of introverted kids and a couple of extroverted kids. And, you know, the introvert really, it, it wears them out to be around people like their sisters. <laughs> and they're like... Well, like, how do I do that? I'm like, you just find the thing that you actually like and connect with them and just appreciate that and appreciate that they're different than you know. I'm, I try to never be afraid to reach out to those people and say like, you're doing great. Can you help me? Because 
that's what you, so that we're all rising up together. That's awesome. Um, Aaron, I want to be respectful of your time. And, you know, I, I always like to end with this last, this last piece. And it's, um, if you could give our audience just one piece of advice that maybe you wish you had in the beginning of your career that you just always give out now, you know, to agents just in general, um, what would that be? Just make genuine connection with everyone you can really. That's those connections. You know, Like we said, it's, you never know where it's going to lead. You're in Texas now, you know, like you, you wouldn't have been there if you didn't talk to some people. So yeah. lead you in good paths most of the time just saying hi to people yeah you know you just like, like you said you just never know who that person may lead you to or or the business that may come from it right or the opportunities right i mean it doesn't even have to be real estate it could just be different opportunities down the road yeah you never know just could be just something that you find that you enjoy like never had this hobby before but now you have a stress reliever because you met someone who plays pickleball or you know, like, <laughs> yeah trying everything don't be afraid to say yes to the opportunities for sure 